Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to draw Clarence from The Clarence Show. So we're going to start at the top of the face and we're going to start with the eyes. Starting with the one on the left, we're going to start at the very top and draw a circle. So at the top, we'll curve around to the bottom and then back up to the top. From here, let's draw on the pupil. So we're going to have the eye looking that way. So we're going to draw a smaller circle just tucked beside the right line here. So go ahead and draw a smaller circle and color that in black. Now let's draw that exact same eye over on the right side. Now we're going to keep a, make a little space in the middle, and that space will be about the same width as an eye. So we're just going to draw the right side eye over here, starting at the top, same height, curve around to the bottom, and then back up to the top. And then let's go ahead and draw that pupil. So tucked against the right side, we'll draw a smaller circle, and color that in black. From here, I want to draw in the nose. So the nose is actually stuck right beside the left eye here. So it's just basically a curve. So starting at the top, I'm going to curve around and come down. For the nostrils, all we want to draw is two little short lines inside. From this point, let's go ahead and draw the cheek. So directly below the right eye, right in the middle here, we're going to draw a curve coming down to about there. From here, let's draw in the mouth. So it starts with a curve going right just underneath this nose. So right here, I'm going to curve up and just tuck that in behind that cheek. And then from this point, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction, come down, and then tuck that in underneath the cheek. Let's go ahead and draw some teeth. So up on the left side here, I'm gonna draw a little curve for one tooth. And on the right, I'm just gonna tuck one behind that cheek there. And for the tongue, I'm gonna to start in the middle of the mouth at the bottom, and just curve along behind that cheek. From here, let's draw in the cheek on the side here. So just under this eye, I'm going to bring a curve just below this mouth here, so right about here, starting underneath the left eye, curving out, and then just underneath that mouth. From here, I just want to bring just the chin down just a little bit. Now from this point, we're going to go back up to the top of the eye and draw a curve coming to the top of the head and back to the back of the neck here. So the head is quite wide, so I want to bring the back of the neck to probably somewhere around there. So starting at the top of the left eye, I'm going to curve up. Now we're going to bring this curve all the way around. And just gradually curve this back and start to come straight down here. Now we want to make sure that the back of the neck and the front of the neck are roughly the same height. So I probably want to bring this down just a little bit more. We're going to connect those two points with a slight curve. Coming down in the middle and then back up on the right side. We'll draw that hairline across the top. And this is basically four little curves that go all the way across. So starting at the front here, curve up one, two, three, and then this last one will just tuck in in the back of the head there. Okay, so we got the head, let's get into the body. So the body is quite simple, it basically comes down and it bulges out around the belly. So at the front here, I'm going to take this point here and just curve down the front edge of the chest. The chest is really high, the belly pretty much takes up most of the body. And the body we're going to draw it down to about here. So what we want to do is take this point and bulge out the front of the belly, but we want to leave enough space in between here for the legs. So starting at the front, I'm going to bulge out the front and just come into about here. In the back, I want to do the same thing, but I'm going to draw the arm in a L shape or a reverse L shape with the hand and the finger pointing up. So in the back, I'm just going to bring this line down just a little bit. And we're going to start by drawing in the shoulder and the upper arm. So right here, this is where the inner part of the elbow would be. And curve in towards the body and then round out the arm socket. From here, we probably want to draw in the bottom of the arm here. So I'm just going to go straight across the bottom. Just kind of stop right about there. Let's draw in the sleeve. So up here, just left of the back of the body, I'm going to draw a curve for the sleeve. Let's go into the forearm. So we're going to do a slight overlap and go straight up, up towards the wrist. From here, let's draw in the thumb. So we're going to draw the hand like this. So right now we're here, we're going to draw on the thumb. So from this point, I'm going to draw a curve going up to the thumb. We'll round up the thumb. And then we're going to draw that little meaty part of the thumb here. So I'm just curving down. Let's draw the index finger. So right about halfway through this thumb, we're going to draw a curve going up and then down. And we're going to overlap some fingers. So up here, we're going to do a curve for one finger. Do another overlap and just curl this behind that finger. 
and then one final one, pretty much the same thing, curving around like that. Now from here, we want to make our way down to here. So starting just underneath this finger, I'm going to curve out, come straight down. Now from here to here, I just want to do a, a nice curve, just like that. Now from here, well, let's go back down to the body. So from this point, I want to make my way to the back of the torso, so right here. So this body in the back comes down, and it's going to bulge out pretty much like this somewhere around here. So I'll start here, and curve out the back, and end off right there, the same height as the front. From this point, let's draw in the top of the shirt. So we're just going to come up a bit here, and just draw a curve coming down in the middle, and then back up on the right side. Up here, we're going to draw a little bit of a belly line. So just following that same curve, right about here, I'm just going to draw a curve like that. From here, let's get into the legs. So the legs, we're going to draw down to about here. So the legs are roughly the same height as the body. So right here, start at the front. From this point, we're going to come down towards the ankle. Now from here, I just want to draw the foot. So I'm going to draw a curve coming down to the toe. And we want to bring this back about there, just far enough. And then from here, we're going to go straight up. Now we want to imagine a line, a curve going around the belly like this, one continuous line. So it's going to be closed right about here. So what I want to do is just draw a little curve like that, splitting the legs. From here, I want to go straight up. And I'm probably going to do a little overlap here, just like that. Let's draw on the shorts. So up here, I'm going to draw a curve coming down then back up. And then for the boot or the shoe, I'm going to come down in the middle and back up. Let's draw that exact same thing on the right side. So from here, I'm going to go straight down, making sure it's about the same height. I'm going to draw the front of the shoe going back, just like I did here. Now this is going to come to that line there. So just draw a straight line coming down. Let's draw the top of the short line here, and then the top of the shoe going across. Now from this point, let's draw the arm on the side here. So this is going to just curve around to the hip. So I'm going to probably draw the hand right about here. So up in the shoulder area, here, I'm going to draw a curve going out to the elbow and then back in, stopping right about there. We're going to draw the back meat of the hand. So we're just going to draw a little bulge like this. We're going to draw fingers. So going up a little bit, drawing a curve like that. Do another overlap and just draw one more finger and tuck that in behind the body. We'll draw the elbow. So this arm is going to come around here. Just draw a curve like this. And then we'll probably just draw the upper arm line going across. And then the top of the shirt, sleeve, just a little curve going behind the body. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Clarence. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Please give us a like and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.